Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the topic inheritance. So inheritance is a fundamental concept in object oriented programming that allows a new class called the derived class or subclass to be based on existing class called base class or superclass. The new class inherits all the properties and behavior of existing class and also add its own unique properties and behavior. So basically, there are two there are two types of classes. That is, one, first one is base class, or it is also called as parent class, and other is derived class. or it is also called as child class so a child class derives all the properties and methods of the parent class and it can also add new properties and methods to it inheritance allowed inheritance allows for code reuse as a derived class can use the code from the base class without having to rewrite it it also allows for better organization of the code as similar classes can group it together in a hierarchy based on similarities and differences. Next, let us see about super keyword. In object oriented programming, the super keyword refers to the immediate parent class of a subclass. It is used to access the methods and properties of parent class from within the subclass. So we have already discussed that there are two types of classes, parent class and derived class so if a super keyword is used in derived derived class then this means it is referring to the parent class let us take a class called amount account underscore let us take a class called account underscore c and it has a property called balance of in data type and it is assigned to zero and we have a function called summary of into data type and here we are returning the balance and followed by ending the function and class and we are taking other class called linked underscore account and if we want this class to be a derived class of account underscore c then we use the keyword extends so this linked underscore account will be a derived class of the class account underscore c so account underscore c is the main account underscore c is the base class and linked underscore account is the derived class and this class has a property called balance of into data type and we are declaring a method called in summary of in data type and we are returning the balance plus super dot balance here super dot balance refers to the balance in the main class here we have the property called balance so super dot balance will refer to base class property balance so here this balance will refer to present scope balance that is linked underscore account balance this is present scope present scope and super dot balance refers to base class property let's see other example here we are taking a class called account underscore c and we have declared a property here and in a and we have declared a method called new and we are and here we have a argument called pay of in data type and we are assigning balance is equal to pay and here we are ending the function and here we are deriving a class called linked underscore account from account underscore c here we are deriving a class and in this class we have a method called new of and it has an argument called value of into data type and here we are passing super dot new of value through the constructor we are passing the argument called value so through the constructor we can pass the arguments so here we are passing the argument called value super dot new means we are passing the argument value to the base class so this value will be passed to here so p will be equal to value and here we are ending the function and in top module we are creating a handle for linked underscore account 
called link underscore h and within initial begin and block we are creating object for this handle link underscore h and we are passing the value to this constructor as 50 so this 50 will be parser will be copied to value and this value will be sent to this copied to this argument p so balance will be equal to p so balance will be equal to 50 so by using this super keyword we are referring to the parent or base class so that's all about inheritance and super keyword so thank you for watching this video